Picture it. You're out in the field, ready to roll on an interview. You put on your headphones and you realize there's a lot of background noise going on. And you wonder, does the voice isolation tool in Final Cut do a good enough job to clean up this bad audio? Can you rely on it when you bring it back to post? I've run into this situation so many times since Final Cut released its voice isolation update, but I'm always like skeptical about it and wondering if I can really trust it when it comes down to it in a pinch. So today we're going to do a scientific experiment and find out how good is the voice isolation in real world scenarios. I'm taking my team and we're going out into the wild. We're going to be recording some sound and then trying to clean it up with the voice isolation feature in Final Cut. Now, Final Cut has already warned me about this. They say you can't rely on voice isolation to clean up all of your audio problems and that there's no substitute for getting good, clean audio out in the field. Well, psh, I'm a rebel. We're going to try and see what we can get away with with this voice isolation, and we're going to be very scientific about it. I'm going to be recording my voice and one of my team members' voices so we get a male and female sample out in the field. We're also going to be reading what are called phonetic panograms. These are these crazy sentences that don't really make sense, but they do contain all of the sounds of the English language, so we're making sure we're getting like the full spectrum of sounds you might run into in an interview situation. And then we're also going to be measuring the level of the ambient noise using an audio meter app on my phone. All right, I've got my headphones on so I can really get a good listen to this background noise. Let's first start with air conditioning. You can hear it's kind of like a low rumble. Here's my audio without the voice isolation. That quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again, creating chaos. That quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again, creating chaos. I'd say on me, that worked pretty well. There is sort of still like this high pitched tone I can hear in my headphones, but I think unless you were listening really closely, you wouldn't hear that high pitched noise. And if you had music underneath this, you definitely wouldn't hear it. That quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again, creating chaos. That quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again, creating chaos. I have the voice isolation on Connor cranked up to 74% and I'm still not getting any distortion on his voice. So I think that the voice isolation tool in Final Cut definitely works on air conditioning background noise. All right, our next challenge is road noise. We're taking it to a busy street where the speed limit is like 45 miles an hour. Let's have a listen. Okay, yeah, this sound is definitely tougher than the air conditioning sound. That traffic noise is loud, and like I said, it changes a lot. Are those shy Eurasian footwear, cowboy chaps, or jolly earth-moving headgear? Are those shy Eurasian footwear, cowboy chaps, or jolly earth-moving headgear? I cranked up the voice isolation to 55% on myself here, and I think that's definitely the sweet spot. I found if I went any higher, I got some distortion in my voice. You can still kind of hear the road noise in the background, even though I'm clear as a bell over it. And I'm also of the mindset that if you can see the source of the background noise in the background of your shot, it's a little bit more forgivable. Are those shy Eurasian footwear cowboy chaps or jolly earth moving headgear? Are those shy Eurasian footwear cowboy chaps or jolly earth moving headgear? I was able to set Connor's voice isolation level at a higher percentage than my own before his voice sounded distorted. This did a great job of cleaning up that road noise. Let's move on to our next scenario, which is construction. In this next shot, we have a circular saw being used in the background. It's a very consistent noise. It's got a little bit of a higher pitch and you can hear under my read, it's actually very distracting. With tenure, Susie'd have all the more leisure for yachting, but her publications are no good. With tenure, Susie'd have all the more leisure for yachting, but her publications are no good. I'm finding this one particularly challenging. I feel like I can't really crank up that voice isolation that high before my voice sounds distorted. And also I feel like the sound of the circular saw is also getting distorted. So for me, the sweet spot here is about 50%. And even then I'm not completely thrilled with the voice isolation. It's definitely no substitute for just getting clean audio and asking that guy in the background to take a 15 minute break. With tenure, Susie have all the more leisure for yachting, but her publications are no good. 
With tenure, Susie have all the more leisure for yachting, but her publications are no good. Okay, again, I'm able to get cleaner sound with Connor's voice. Um, I've got him at 66% here. You could still kind of hear the circular saw, but it's not that bad at all. The next scenario is a huge challenge. It is wind noise, and I do not have high hopes for this, but let's try it. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and started bending and quacking. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and started bending and quacking. I was able to crank up the voice isolation all the way up to 100% and my voice sounds slightly tinny but not that bad. I'm actually kind of amazed at how well this voice isolation worked on this wind noise. Let's see how it works for Connor. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and started bending and quacking. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and started bending and quacking. Yeah, I could not get a great result with the wind noise and Connor's voice. Even if I cranked up the voice isolation to 100%, Connor's voice was getting a lot of distortion. I think it's because the pitch of like the rumble of the wind and Connor's very bassy voice are very similar. Whereas, you know, the pitch of my voice is much higher. So there's a lot of differentiation between the wind noise rumble and my voice. So it was really hard for the voice isolation tool to clean up and separate Connor's voice from that rumble. After all of our hard work, I decided to take the crew for lunch to a very busy, noisy Mexican restaurant. Let's take Take a listen. Yeah, that's a lot of horns in that music, a lot of background noise. Let's try the voice isolation. The beige hue on the waters of the loch impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. The beige hue on the waters of the loch impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. All right, again, I'm at about the 55, 56% range here on the voice isolation tool for my own voice. Definitely cleans it up a lot. There's still, of course, a little bit of background noise. You can still hear those horns and the music, but let's see if we have better luck with Connor. The bass hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen. But first she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. The bass hue on the waters of the lock impressed all including the French Queen. But first she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. So Connor's read has basically the same result that I did. You can still kind of hear the people talking in the background. You could still kind of hear the music, but it definitely helps clean up the audio. So what is my verdict on voice isolation? I'd say for a situation where you have like rumbling consistent air conditioning or any other appliance like refrigerator noise, the voice isolation feature works fantastically. When it came to the road noise, I found that I had better success with Connor's lower voice than with mine, but they still both sounded pretty good. With the construction noise, in particular that circular saw, I definitely found that Connor's lower voice had a better result than my higher pitched voice did. But for the wind noise, I found that I got a better result, I think because the pitch of my voice is so different from that low rumble of the wind. And then last but not least, the busy restaurant. Couldn't clean up entirely all of the background noise, but a huge improvement overall. So I say that voice isolation is pretty much a win in almost every situation. But tell me, have you ever had voice isolation save the day? Let me know in the comments what the situation was and how it worked for you. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love and I'll see you again.